Power 96.1. It's uh, Maddox here with the very lovely Jesse J. What's up? What's Are up? Are you on Maddox? What's that? You're I, Maddox. I, I am. I am. M-A- Pronounced Maddox, spelt Maddox. Y- yeah, there you go. Pretty much. Hmm. It's uh, they actually have a road named Maddox Road. Oh, so I think. you say Maddox? And Maddox. I say Maddox. Yeah, I know. It's Sorry. people kind of get it confused a little bit. Yeah. But welcome. How are you? Thank ya? you. I'm great. How are you? I'm fantastic. Um, you have a big show tonight. I here do. At, My uh, first ever sold out show in Atlanta. That's crazy. Center yeah. stage. It's a it's a really cool venue. You excited? Everyone's been saying that. So yeah, I am excited. I haven't been there yet. Um, but we've got sound check in a little while. So yeah, I'm Love excited. It. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by. How was your uh, How was your New Year's? Amazing. I was in Jamaica. You were in Jamaica? Yes. Oh, that sounds like fun. I was in Jamaica. Um, I was there with my mum, my dad, my two best friends, and my boyfriend, Luke. Um, yeah, it was wicked. Did Ate you, a lot of food, danced did you get, around. Did you get to do anything fun, like swim with dolphins or anything uh, No, like that? you don't really get dolphins in Jamaica. No? No dolphins? Um, no, we did. We went and climbed a waterfall. Um, we did this amazing thing where you sit on like a bamboo... Um, raft and you get like rafted down like this guy with a big stick it was amazing it's so, i really didn't explain that very well um <laughs> it's bamboo and man has a stick it's brilliant it's a large um, stick <laughs> no it's just really to be honest with you i'm someone that just likes to see culture well, you know cool. i almost just want to live how they live so that's what we did definitely that sounds like a good time do you have any uh new year's resolutions for uh 2015 same ones every year be happy be sane and be healthy that's, those yeah, are good ones. That's it. Every year it should be the same. Do you have any uh, any the whole pla- year round, not just for New Year? You know. Definitely, you should uh, keep up the the resolutions twenty four seven three sixty five. She says <laughs> after scoffing Cheetos and a Twix. Do you have any uh, plans for Valentine's Day this weekend? I know you're going to be in uh, Miami, right? My day sheet is very much planned out. Um, I don't have a say. You don't have a say at all. <laughs> no. So Valentine's Day is going to be whatever my label and my management team have given me to do on Valentine's Day. What are, what, are, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. No, I'm, I have no plans because I'm working. But obviously, when I'm on stage, um, I have a show, which is probably for me the best thing alongside obviously seeing Luke, but he's not here, um, is performing. So I'm actually quite honored that that amount of people have, have, have chosen to see me on Valentine's Day. That's awesome. Yeah. You're like there. You're like everybody's Valentine at the same time. It's perfect. It's one way to look it's at it. It's a lot of pressure, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> how, was your, uh, how was your Grammys weekend? Did oh, you get to do anything? Amazing. Well, we actually, <laughs> I had a gig in Paris, and then we did a bus overnight to Courchevel, and I had a gig in France. And then that night, we f- drove to Geneva. We flew from, Gen- flew from Geneva to London, straight on from a flight from London to LA, and we landed and went straight to rehearsals at 7 p.m. the night before the Grammys. So wow. the Grammy day was crazy um we didn't really have a chance to kind of even think about the fact that it was the grammys it was just like right go 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 yeah. i had seven outfit changes and lots of songs to learn <laughs> how do you change outfits seven like well i had you have to do what it fast? i arrived in which was to rehearse okay then i had my red carpet the performance with tom after the performance with tom what i went back out in uh well i had a sound check but we don't count that sound check outfit and then um the after party i performed at and then i went to an after party so that's six outfits wow yeah that's a lot of changing it's a lot of steaming <laughs> so uh what did you th- what did you think about what's your opinion on the whole the whole kanye west like grammys uh speech that uh he did after the grammys i didn't see it you didn't see it yet i'm not really a gossip head but you tell me uh, what did he it, say it was interesting i mean he was basically saying that you know the system is kind of flawed and they need to fix the voting system basically and how well you know what i always say that somebody needs to be that person yeah you know not the voice no i no, i don't mean that i just mean somebody's gonna be me someone's gonna be kanye someone's gonna be nikki someone's gonna be ariana someone's gonna be beyonce and i think people forget that everyone has their own opinion and not everyone's always going to agree with it. And I think he's controversial without being offensive. Um, and he's an artist, you know. I think that whether you agree or not, I think he's validated to his opinion. And uh, sometimes the media obviously talk about how it's negative, but they're the ones that actually push it out to the whole world. So Yeah, like freedom of speech Yeah, and stuff, of course. You know? So it's just his opinion. I mean... Yeah. Everybody has uh, is entitled to their own opinion. I think you know? Kanye's cool, man. I, I think he loves what he does. Did you get to see him at the Grammys at I all? I did. I was actually in the front row and he pretended to jump on the stage. <laughs> That's awesome. Which was really funny. Everyone needs to lighten up. I thought it was funny. Taylor I mean... found it funny. <laughs> Beck found it funny. It was funny to see yeah. uh, to see Jay-Z's face. His face was like... <gasps> <laughs> no, Jay-Z was cracking up. Was he, but yeah. I, but the, the still that they showed, like <laughs> that was like circulating all yeah, over like, of course, Facebook. It was yeah. like... <gasps> no, if he was there, everybody was laughing because it was funny. That's awesome. Yeah, he's taking the mick out of himself. People need to... You know, pat him on the back for that because he went through some tough times and he's admitted that he did some things he shouldn't have. And now he's been able to go, I was stupid and I'm going to take the mick out of myself. And I think that actually we need to celebrate 
yeah, just moments of people there. being okay with the <laughs> with things that they've done wrong. So yeah. Hey, that's awesome. I love it. So uh, are you going to be able to see Fifty Shades of Grey this weekend? I mean, I hope so. Did I you really read the want books? to see it. No, no, I haven't read the books. I, I, I need to. I don't know how I feel about owning a Kindle. I don't know. My mum's got one. Um, don't know why I said that. I just <laughs> feel like old people have Kindles. That go, there goes the endorsement <laughs> with Kindle. Um, but then I don't really want people to know I'm reading it. No. You know, the only chance I really have is on planes, <laughs> and I just feel like a bit of a perv. You're like, you're like looking. You're like, yeah. Kind of like, well, no, but I do. I should read it. I should read it. But um. I really want to see the film, but should I read the books before I see the film? I hear that that's usually the best thing to do is kind of read the books first and then see the movie. That's what I always hear. But yeah, I don't read people always say the books, movies so. are never as good as the books. That's what I always hear too. But Rita, I'm looking forward to seeing Rita. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah. uh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Um. So your uh, your single masterpiece is out now off your uh, your it album uh, Sweet Talker. Yeah. So uh, I saw the uh, the music video that looked like it was like a lot of fun to shoot. Yeah, we did that in a day. It was the weirdest video One day. I've ever done. Yeah, because. It felt like a school project because it was obviously was us just being, I was just doing a day of what I do and someone was then just filming it. It was really relaxed. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really fun. One day music videos. Yeah, it was really fun. It was really weird. There was a point where I went onto the balcony um, and there was like four, 45 paps and I was like, Seriously, there must be someone more interesting around than me, <laughs> you know, like, but they were all there. It was really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so I saw a video uh, of you. It went viral. It was you singing Bang Bang with your mouth closed. Yeah. How, how, how does that even happen? Like, how did you? I can't believe, honestly, I didn't think it was this impressive. Everywhere I go. It's amazing. Everyone asked me to, to, to explain how I do it. I don't know why I, I ever discovered I could do it. Clearly I had no friends growing up. Um, I tried. I kind of failed at it. But you know what it is? I used to do a lot of auditions when I was younger, and they always used to be like, you know, what's your party trick? I've just got a big mouth. <laughs> um, and the, the 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 way you guys should do it, if anyone's listening and wants to try it, of course you do. Um, you just speak or sing, and you blow a little bit of air out. If you blow your cheeks out, but then you blow a little bit of air out. I have to be very clear what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, I'm. I tried. So like, <laughs> like, but open your mouth a little bit. <laughs> so like, she got a body like the man of the glass, but I could give it to you at a time. Wow, that was amazing. Ta -da. You are a person of many talents, I'm Jesse. I'm here all day. I, that was amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, that was definitely the excited to Thanks. check. <laughs> that was the finale. Excited to check you out at Center Stage tonight. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. You. Power ninety six one. Show like that. Can't wait. Should be on the next album. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Bonus track. <laughs> Love it. Power 96.